Hey guys, all right, so this here is the monthly perfume review that uh, you guys normally vote for. Mm -hmm. So you guys had a selection between Giorgio Armani C and Calvin Klein Forbidden Euphoria. That's correct. It mm -hmm. was a tie, so normally in the, in the event of a tie, Neela uh, selects and she chose Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein Forbidden Euphoria. So this fragrance was launched in 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, we did not get the perfume yet. Mm -hmm. This is presented as a fragrance for a younger audience dedicated to independent women. Ooh. Ooh, as a... Uh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> so, all right. So main accords are sweet, floral, fruity, musky, patchouli, and woody. With the top notes being mandarin, orange, raspberry, and peach blossom. The mid is raspberry, sorry. The mid, jasmine, orchid, and peony. With the base being cashmere wood, musk, and patchouli. Mm -hmm. What do you get out of this fragrance? Okay, so before I dive into too much, I did, it, so as you guys know, Calvin Klein won. But I tried them both and I like Calvin Klein more. And uh, I got, I think I got more of the peony and the raspberries out of it. The, the raspberries is very prominent. When you yeah. sprayed that earlier today, mm -hmm. I definitely picked that up yeah. right from the get-go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can spray it again if you want. All right. And then you can see. You did. It lasted longer to, yeah. I get smell from here. Yeah, definitely raspberries. I can get some of the, mm -hmm. like, a bit of a clean floral sort of. Yeah, this is a winner. This I is, really like this. This is definitely a very nice fragrance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm not one to, like, I, I like certain things, but this is one where I smell myself often, right? Okay. So I, I usually don't do that, but yeah. We so, go. all right, so what would you say that these are, uh, the occasions, I should say, sorry. I think every day, I think it's good for work. I think you can, um, I think, well, if you think about it, yeah, it's marketed very well for the independent woman who's dedicated to whatever she needs to do. So I think that this is perfect for an office scent. I think that it's a great, a great gift as a graduation gift if that's what you want to do. Um, I think that it could be used as a, um, a scent for students, but I think it's definitely meant for everyday use. It's not a party scent. Not a party scent? Mm -mm. I think that this would be a good date scent. Yeah, yeah, I agree I, with I, that. I, just from the fragrance, like, okay, I could smell that on your hand. Mm -hmm. That's kind of flirtatious. You think so? I think so. Kind of flirtatious and sexy. Oh, I like this. It is isn't. Yeah. I, I really do like that scent. Yeah, All I right. do too. Okay, so ages. Ages. Um, I think 25 and up. I think even 21 and up can pull it off. Um, I think that, you know what, I think even though it's flirty, I think that it can still be sophisticated. So um, I just don't see it being worn at a club, but I see it like first date, like you said. Yeah. Okay, well... It is marketed towards the younger independent women. Like, mm -hmm. do you think that like a forty-five-year-old or a fifty-year-old? Do you think that'd be that's too much of a young younger woman's fragrance? I think um, I think today's generation of a forty-five-year-old woman would like that. If you think about forty-five-year-olds when we were growing up, no, they wouldn't have liked this. No, they yeah, would have liked something a bit stronger, right? And I think people's tastes are changing. Um, I think that. Um, I think 45, yeah, you could, you, you would want to wear this, but you probably prefer something else. You probably prefer something a little bit more pronounced. Um, I wouldn't go beyond that though. Okay. Yeah. All right. So mm -hmm. seasons, what would you say? Uh, I like it for winter. I think that you can wear it in the colder seasons. I'm not sure how well it would fare in the summertime. I think it'd be too strong. I think the raspberry may be a little maybe, overpowering. Maybe, maybe the, think, the but... orange blossom too. I think it'd be overpowering. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Again. I smell that it's woody for sure. I do smell that too. I really do. Like, I get a lot of raspberry and a lot of peony. I think it's mm -hmm. really nice. It's a really nice blend. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier today and I think this is bottle worthy for sure. Yeah. Well, Calvin Klein, they do nice smelling fragrances, but yeah. the performance... They don't last long. All right. Well, how yeah. did this last? It didn't do very well. Um, today it did a little bit better and I don't know if it's because of the weather or what, but um, it lasted on my skin maybe four hours, five was, hours. Was that before or was that today? That was before. So I would spray it in the morning before going to work, let's say at around 8 o'clock, 8.30 or so. Um, I couldn't smell it anymore by 1 o'clock. Oh, so four to five hours. Yeah. What about today then? Today, I would say that it lasted, well, I sprayed it at 10, still smelted it around 6. 
Okay, to so last it a little bit longer. So it's a little bit spotty. So yeah. It, so yeah. I guess it depends on the on the day maybe. Yeah, perhaps. It All depends right. on what you're doing or whatever. Okay, so um, prices on this one. So at your department store, so such as the Bay for a 100 ml, you're looking at 110 dollars. Mm -hmm. Uh, fragrance X for a 50 ml and a 100 ml, you're looking at 35 and 70. Mm -hmm. Fragrance Net, uh, they had the uh, EDP concentration, so the Eau de Parfum. Mm -hmm. Fragrance Net for a one for a one ounce, 1.7, and a 3.4 with the coupon code is 22, 29, and 40 dollars. Mm -hmm. That's a much better price than 110 dollars from the I, department store. Yeah, I think so too. So, uh, yeah. what were people's thoughts on this one? Everybody that smelt it really liked it. Um, I didn't get compliments that would say, oh wow, that's really great, but they liked it. Uh, they did think that I smelt really good and said, ooh, okay, this is a nice one. Um, so I think that um, I, I think that it's something that wouldn't offend anyone. I think that um, with my well, with my chemistry, it worked out really well. Uh, and I think that if you were to choose this, you would find yourself a winner. So, okay, so the guys in the community call fragrance panty droppers. Mm -hmm. All right, so if a woman were to wear that, in the words of delicious <laughs> delights. Would it be a tidy whitey dropper? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you tell me. I think it would be. Would well, it? I don't wear tidy whities. I wear boxer briefs. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but your spandex. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't wear spandex. Okay. Okay, we took a picture yes. <laughs> of like spandex pants because I wanted to get a, I wanted to you rub people the wrong way. Yes. Yeah. So, so anyway. we posted that on Facebook and I want to pay homage to Mike the Cologne guy because. <laughs> all right. Fun. It's all okay, good. so uh, I. Maybe you've smelled better things. Yeah, no, I smell better things, but mm -hmm. it is definitely a very nice fragrance and I personally do enjoy that one. Yeah, so if you're going with a budget, this is a really good one. I think so, compared to some of the other things that we smelled. Uh, yeah. And I do enjoy this. So, um, mm -hmm. so you, would you like, would you get a bottle of that with your own money though? Okay, I have to smell again. Uh, Dolce and Gabbana, the one, with, I think it's called the Rose. Mm -hmm. It's a toss up between that one and this. I have to the smell The Rose one is really nice. Really nice. Yes. And I saw it today. And I wanted to buy it. I'm like, nope, because uh, it, it, it didn't. They didn't have a tester or anything, so I've got to compare those two. Uh, and depending on how differently they smell, I might get both. I don't know. But <laughs> if they smell similar, then I'll probably get Dolce and Gabbana. But I, I do like this. And if they, if they are unique, then yeah, I would take this one. So I, I do like it. But I feel like they're in the same family somehow. Okay. Yeah. So is there anything else that you want to say about on this fragrance? Uh, nothing that I can think of right now. It's just, um, like I said, I don't think that you would go wrong in buying this one. Uh, I know I threw a few things out there, but uh, as a final note, I think that this was a great scent. Um, I think that they did market it very well, and um, it's something that I would wear again. Like, I wouldn't be squeamish about wanting to wear this one. All right. So, uh, for next month's uh, review, mm -hmm. or for the next selection, because mm -hmm. we're planning on something a little bit different for the next month. Yeah. Um, not with the selection, guys. So, but we do have. I think okay, this one is definitely a niche, but I'm not exactly sure if this one is here. So, uh, you have two choices. Uh, so, say, uh, choice number one, it's by Killian mm -hmm. in the city of Sin. So, and the next one, this is where well, I'm not sure if it's a niche or not. You're gonna have. You can choose. Atelier Vini et Saint Saint. So I'll put the names in the description box below. You guys vote and we will do another video of it. All right. So is that it? That's it. All right, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again. Take care. Bye now. Bye bye.